My mom had to drop out of school when she was seven years old. She was an orphan in Mexico, so she couldn't pay her classes, so she couldn't go past the second grade. Actually, the majority of my family, they never finished high school, never went to college, never went to university. So growing up, I actually had no idea what college was. I thought college was for rich, smart people, not for people like me, and especially not for people who looked like me. And I honestly don't know where I got that mentality from. It's not like my parents told me, you're a failure and you're never gonna go to college. The opposite, they were always telling me, Ponte las pilas, mija. Échale ganas. But they didn't know anything about college and scholarships and programs. So there wasn't much that they could do. So when I was 13 years old, that's when I had like these internalized thoughts of like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm not going to college. I'm not rich. I'm not smart, let alone being able to pay for it. So I went through middle school, you know, just slacking off, being dumb. And with the mentality that I had, I was kind of already setting myself up for failure. This mentality also carried on into high school. And then boys came into the mix and substances came into the mix. And surprise, surprise, my self-esteem got worse. I did not have good grades at all. Like I wasn't failing my classes, but I wasn't trying. I guess now that I think about it, I didn't want to embarrass myself. Like I didn't want to give 100% just for it not to be enough and to feel even more like a failure. In total, there was like maybe like 20 Mexicans in the entire school. So we all kind of just like hung out together in like the corner of the cafeteria. And I kind of felt that same kind of mentality within that group like because we all had very similar upbringings you know where our parents they immigrated here for a better future for the children they also had extremely rough upbringings so i basically slacked off until junior year and it wasn't until junior year that i realized oh my gosh i am graduating soon what am i gonna do when i graduate what how wh where am i gonna work am i ever gonna be able to move out how am i gonna pay bills but it only took one person to drastically change the trajectory of my life. I will never forget this day. We were having lunch in my junior year and there was this um, program that came to my school called Skill Center. And basically it's like a technical institute for high schoolers so that you can graduate with a high school diploma and a certificate of practice in all sorts of programs that they have. Well, Carla came up, you know, to the Mexican table and was like, guys, oh my gosh, we should apply to Skill Center. And we were like, mm, Okay, so it was me, Carla, Jennifer, Alexis, Guadalupe, and we all went to the table and we all signed up for Skill Center, which it was really nice having that support, you know, cause like, I feel like alone, I wouldn't have had that boldness to do it by myself. And there's like a bunch of different programs and my dad told me to do the applied medical science program, which gives classes on medical terminology, anatomy and physiology, biology, and allows you to graduate with your CNA certificate along with your high school diploma. I loved it so much. I found it so fascinating and so interesting that I studied it so hard. I got an A in every single class in that program. My class actually voted me most likely to succeed. I felt like crying when they gave me that because I never felt smart. I never felt capable. And I remember like there were kids that were coming up to me for help, asking me how I study. And I know it seems so little, but for me it was such a boost of confidence and validation of like, wow, like if I try, I, I can do well. So I talked to my teacher and I was like, hey, you know what? I really, really like anatomy and physiology a lot. Is there any kind of career that I could build on top of this? And she told me, well, the next step after CNA, you could become a registered nurse. Mind you, I had zero clue what nurses did. I had never met a nurse in my life, but it just sounded like a great fit for me. So I graduated high school with my diploma and my CNA. And then came in the second person that changed my life drastically, and that is my husband. At the time, we were dating. He comes from a college-educated family. His mom went to college, his dad went to college, his brother and sister went to college. Like my mom comes from Michoacan, you know? She grew up freaking around cartel and narcos. So it, it's just, it was such a different reality. But because he came from a college educated family, he was able to help me how to apply to my local community college. And you know what? It makes me really angry when people 
talk bad about or make fun of community college because community college is made for people like me people like me who come from a background with all these statistics stacked against me me being a hispanic female the statistics clearly show that all the odds are against me and that is exactly what community college is for to make higher education accessible to people like me i find it so disgusting that people think just because they spent more money on a degree at a private school out of state that it somehow makes them better. So I will never talk down on a community college because it helped change my life. So my husband helped me apply to community college and I started my prerequisites. I got an A in all of my prerequisites. Because of the 4.0 that I held for two years and the scholarships that I was able to attain, I was able to pay my way through nursing school. And because of my good grades in nursing school, I was able to get scholarships for my bachelor's degree. So here we are in 2020. I am a bachelor's registered nurse. Not only that, but I'm first generation high school graduate, first generation college graduate, and first generation university graduate and i know that may not seem like a big deal to some people but i'm so proud of myself because i went from a person genuinely believing i am stupid i am too stupid i do not deserve to go to college i could never get into college i'm not good enough and now i'm a pediatric home health nurse for medically fragile children and i i love my job i cannot imagine myself not being a nurse and now i can be that example in my family to help family and friends to pursue higher education because it's a domino effect it really does help to uplift the entire family my little sister she's in university right now my cousin we helped her to get into running start she's in college and high school at the same time and that is why education is so important and i really really do not mean to say that in a way as like oh i'm so smart oh look what i did i wanted to make this video not about me but to encourage you if you feel like you're too stupid you are not good enough that college is not for you please don't give up on yourself before you have even tried if you grew up like me you know not knowing anything not not the first thing about college i recommend that you just go to your local community college make an appointment with a counselor and make a plan with them of which classes to take on what career you would like to pursue and this doesn't just apply to young people if you are an older adult and you always wanted to go back to school or even just finish your high school diploma you can go to finishyourdiploma.org to find free classes near you so that you can finish your high school diploma heck even my mom she went back to school and i am so proud of her she had to go through an entire program to get licensed and she did everything in english which is her second language and i could not be more proud of my mama so this is what i'm going to do if you have any questions at all of anything in uh, relation to college or scholarships comment down below and i'm gonna try to answer as many questions as i possibly can don't give up on yourself before you have given 100 percent of all your potential and that's all i wanted to talk about today thank you for listening uh, thank you for this platform that you've blessed me with you guys are so amazing and i hope that i was able to help you and i hope you have a great day bye